For 574 Sports, I'm Brad Stoltzfus. Goshen College senior Chandler Ingle has been named Crossroads League Pitcher of the Week this past Monday. The Burn Indiana native posted four and two-thirds inning out of the bullpen against Toccoa Falls College before firing a three-hit, seven-inning complete game shutout against Cleary University on Saturday, March 3rd. Chandler's with us here in the studio. First off, Chandler, congratulations on your award. Yeah, thanks, Brad. Thanks for having me. I'm sure it's cool to be recognized, uh, you know, last year going from about 18 innings mm -hmm. all year, and now mm -hmm. you've worked up to just about 14 innings per year. Uh, talk about, first off, just that change of, of perhaps a bigger role yeah. uh, this year as a senior. Yeah, if you would have if you would have told me I'd be in the starting rotation um, just a few weeks into the season, I would have probably laughed at you. Um, like you said, I only threw a couple innings my freshman year and then threw uh, – 10, 11, 12 innings last year, something like that. So, I mean, I'm just grateful that I've been given the opportunity, and when I got the opportunity, I, I uh, excelled. Now, the Goshen baseball team took two trips to Georgia. Mm -hmm. The first was on a uh, the first trip on that Monday. Mm -hmm. The bullpen had been used a lot over the week after having four games against uh, different teams, including Reinhardt University. Uh, but then also, you came in on Monday after Kyle Kotecki threw two and a third innings. You came in and, and really shut the door, and before that seventh inning, uh, you weren't walking too many guys. You got into a little bit of trouble there. How did you kind of work through that inning after walking the first two batters? Yeah, to be honest, I was a little nervous that last inning. Coach came out. I, I think bases were loaded, and I had just walked. I think I walked someone, so a run scored, and I believe we were still up two, three runs at that point. Um, coach came walking out, got a little nervous. I knew Toby Fox was warming up down in the bullpen. I was just praying and hoping that he wasn't going to take me out. And he looked at me in the eyes and said that, that you're the guy we want here. Um, next pitch, got a, a line drive to Cody McQuarrie, shortstop, and ball game. So. Sealed the game. Goshen got the win 5-3 in that one. What worked well for you against that Cleary matchup on Saturday? It was the second game of the doubleheader on the second day, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. And... Yeah, what what were, was your slider bending a little bit more than normal? Uh, were you locating your pitches uh, more than normal? What what worked well? Yeah, I keep getting that question, and once again, I, I don't really have an answer. I I wasn't doing anything special. Um, I'm not a hard thrower. I don't. I'm not going to light up the radar gun. Uh, have a decent curveball slider mix, uh, but to be honest, I was just throwing strikes. Had a really good strike percentage. Getting ahead in the count. Um, I believe over eighty percent of my batter's face I threw a first pitch strike which is huge in the game of baseball so I mean I I was getting ahead and I was attacking them with my off speed and my defense played great and and Anthony Tadero my catcher give props to him behind the plate called a great game uh, we were in sync the whole time so everything just kind of went right Brad you might not like to hear this but your ERA is sitting under 0.7 right. right now and your whip is under one yeah. as well how do you keep those numbers? How do you stay sharp throughout this long season? Yeah, for me, everything is its always mental. Um, like I said, my, my physical attributes, I don't throw hard. I don't throw nearly as hard as some of our other pitchers. Um, so for me, it's all between the ears. I'm trying not to get too high, too low. I don't like looking at stats. I I don't. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't believe that I need to be boosted by my stats or taken down by my stats. So I think... I think my answer would just to be stay level-headed and just keep doing what I keep doing what I can do. Yeah. Chandler Engel, senior for the Goshen College baseball team. The baseball team is going to be in Kokomo taking on Clear University for a three-game set Saturday, March 9th and 10th. Thank you, Chandler, for your time. Uh, really appreciate it. And Thank again, you, Brett. congratulations on Pitcher of the Week. Again, in studio with Chandler Engel for 574 Sports. I'm Brad Stolzfus. Welcome to 574 Sports. My name is Tanner Camp, but to my left here we have Sianna Emery of the track team. She is this week's Maple Leaf Athlete of the Week. Uh, she is a race walker for the team. She earned her first All-American honors of her career in the last uh, walk. She finished 8th in the 3,000 meter race walk, making a time of 15 minutes and 54 seconds. She is the 6th woman to become an All-American race walker in the last 12 years. Sianna, first off, thank you for joining us today. Yeah, 
no problem. So how does it feel to be this week's Maple Leaf Athlete of the Week? Uh, it's really nice. I That's definitely something that I had in mind going into nationals, um, that possibility. So, and especially after after last year, I didn't do very well at nationals, so that was it's a nice kind of validation, I guess. <laughs> and I'm sure you use that as motivation to right. get you ready for this. And uh, remi as a reminder, again, only a sophomore, so at two years right. for this event. So again, big congratulations Thank for you. that. So again, a very different sport, you know, not one that is usually talked about, mm -hmm. but noteworthy here at Goshen. But so as you talk about, what was your mindset going into uh, just overall track season or particularly race walk going into this season? Um, this season, I came in to the season um, kind of dealing with a number of injuries. And so my mindset was mainly just to fix, you know, heal from those and try to try to come away with couple performances that I was proud of so um, that was the main thing yeah and you know recover from those injuries not push yourself too much right. risk getting hurt and having to sit out longer very very smart decision mm -hmm. and again as uh, is shown through this last event so uh, again uh, you talked about injuries and even you know you can train you train during the fall part of the right. year what did you even do over the summer to get ready whether it be physically even just mentally ready what mm -hmm. all did you do over the summer um well i'm part of the cross country team as well so i was mainly training for cross country just getting a lot of that base work done um building up endurance and strength we started adding more of that this year so i think that that helped um, mentally, just kind of getting myself in a mindset of um, enjoying the sport and um, whatnot, rather than rather than just being there because I had to. So. And that can be a big part. Just being in a sport is kind of hard to do, but if you really enjoy it, it adds right. to the fun and helps you compete at a better level. For sure. So uh, again, you know, not only do you uh, race walk, you know, your cross country team even do other stuff with the track team. Uh, knowing the culture of that team, how have they helped or what did they do before you end up going to nationals to kind of get you ready for that for that race? What did they do? Um, well, the team as a whole uh, especially is just really supportive. Um, they, they show up to our races and they're there cheering us on, which is really helpful because it's generally a smaller meet. Um, so that's really nice. And this year, we definitely worked as a track team to try to build up a more of a supportive atmosphere. So that, that helped a lot. Um, and then also just having the the me and the other two race walkers get along really well, and it's really good vibe going on. So it was just all positive going in. And even with an individual sport like race walk, the fact that other track members mm -hmm. were able to help you and give you support. I remember going to a race walk and seeing the support. It's mm -hmm. fantastic to see. So it's definitely shown from the track team. So uh, uh, again, just early for at least track season in general. Uh, Outdoor is still coming up here within the next few weeks. But so far in track in general, what has been your favorite moment so far? Um, ooh, it's really difficult to choose a single moment. Um, I think that just in general are now the the opportunities that I've been given to to travel um, on three nationals trips now. I think that that's it's a really great opportunity for some bonding with a smaller group. Um, obviously, this year uh, getting to be all American was really nice. I actually wasn't when I finished the race I didn't think I was I thought I was ninth but then it turned out that a girl ahead of me had been disqualified um, so finding out that news was really exciting and again you know I don't, I don't think some people realize how difficult it still is though to make nationals right. and to do it as consistently as you have is very impressive and great that you know you still enjoy every mm -hmm. minute of it so you know, still doing great with nationals for all different sports and everything, mm -hmm. but you still got two years ahead. Yes. Just in general, what are you most looking forward to? Um, I'm looking forward to getting physically stronger and um, more mentally tough and just finding that self-motivation. Self uh, and I, I am looking forward to hopefully um, bringing down my times and getting PRs. Um, the ultimate goal would probably be to get a school record in either indoor or outdoor for race walk. And uh, I know we all look forward to that, especially myself, to see <laughs> how we do over these next few years. Sian, with that, any final thoughts, comments, inspirational quotes that you want? Oh, boy. Um, 
I guess it's I guess just for athletes in general just work hard um I this year have have been mentally challenged with what with the injuries and everything so I think just being able to persevere um you'll come out on the other end so heard it here from Sienna Emery first everyone <laughs> Sienna thank you so much for your yeah, time no really problem. appreciate it with Sienna Emery here I'm Tanner Camp for 574 Sports